The OnePlus Buds are a great pair of $80 earbuds that really do over deliver. They tick off all the right boxes for a pair of everyday carry true wireless earbuds, and they even have a few extra goodies to them. But today, we're going to see how these $80 earbuds stack up to the Galaxy Buds Plus and Jabra Elite 75Ts. Two great pairs of truly wireless earbuds to consider if you're an Android user. Now, like I've already said, the OnePlus Buds retail for $80, whereas the Galaxy Buds Plus retail for $150, and the Jabra Elite 75Ts retail for $180. Now, both the Galaxy Buds Plus and Jabra's like to go on sale from time to time. But even when they're on sale, the OnePlus Buds still manage to undercut them by a decent amount. Nonetheless, if you want to pick any of these earbuds up, they'll be linked down below. Now, first off, let's address the carrying cases here. All of these earbuds have decently small cases that aren't too noticeable when they're in your pocket. Which I feel is very important for everyday carry earbuds. Now, the Galaxy Buds Plus have the smallest carrying case here, whereas the OnePlus Buds case is noticeably larger than these two other cases. But nonetheless, the OnePlus Buds case is still acceptable. Because, like I've mentioned before, if we were to compare this case to the $130 Sony WF-XP700's case, you'll see that Sony's case is much bulkier than all of these other cases. Now, even though OnePlus's case is noticeably larger than these other two cases, I actually think it feels the most premium here. OnePlus's case has a slate finish to it, similar to the slate finish you'll find on Pixel Buds, and this case has a very satisfying snap to it whenever you open and close this lid. So, even though OnePlus's case is the largest here, I think it's my favorite. I'm just a really big fan of finish and tactile feedback for my products. Now, just as you'd expect, all of these earbuds charge via a USB-C port as they should. But I think it's important to point out that the Galaxy Buds Plus are the only earbuds here that have a wireless charging. So either if you have a phone that supports power sharing or if you've already invested in a few wireless chargers, you might want to take that into consideration. Now, when it comes to battery life, the Galaxy Buds Plus have the shortest combined battery life here of 22 hours. They'll definitely get the job done, but if you have a phone that supports power sharing, then you can always stretch out their battery life a little bit. But then, there are the Jabras, which have a combined battery life of 28 hours, which is a little above average. But then there are the OnePlus Buds, which I feel make up for their slightly larger carrying case by having a combined battery life of 30 hours, which is rather impressive. Now, when it comes to the earbuds themselves, obviously the OnePlus Buds are very different from these other two earbuds. The OnePlus Buds are very similar to AirPods, except the OnePlus Buds are a little larger than AirPods. But nonetheless, these earbuds let in a lot of ambient noise because they don't actually create a seal like these other two earbuds do. Now, personally, I do prefer these kinds of earbuds over in-ear earbuds if I'm looking for a pair of everyday carry earbuds to passively listen to podcasts or take phone calls with because I can wear these earbuds for hours on end without any discomfort. Because personally, for me, with in-ear earbuds, they do get itchy sometimes. But the major downfall here is that you can't customize your fit. So these earbuds might not fit everyone perfectly. Now, the OnePlus Buds fit me okay, but personally, I do prefer how AirPods fit because they are a little smaller. Now, if you are interested in in-ear earbuds, then the Galaxy Buds Plus do fit a little better than the Jabra's. Specifically because their ear tips are a little grippier and they also have optional ear fins. But nonetheless, the Jabra's fit fine as well. Ultimately, I feel that choosing between normal earbuds and in-ear earbuds boils down to preference. But I think the major pro about normal earbuds is that they are more comfortable for extended periods of time. Whereas with in-ear earbuds, your music is going to sound better. But now let's talk about Bluetooth connectivity because there's actually a lot more going on here than you'd realize. 
Now, all of these earbuds have stable Bluetooth connections and they all have zero latency whenever you try to watch movies or videos on an Android device, which is always great. But when it comes to actual Bluetooth connection setups, both the Galaxy Buds Plus and OnePlus Buds, each of these earbuds establish a connection with your phone. So if you just wanna use one earbud at a time, you can use either one, it doesn't matter. Whereas the Jabras are using a Hero and Sidekick setup, meaning that one earbud, in this case, the Hero earbud, actually establishes a connection with your phone and then relays that signal over to your other earbud. So if you just wanna use one earbud at a time, you gotta use the correct earbud or the Hero earbud. But the advantage here with the Jabras is that they can be connected to any two devices at the same time. So you can easily hot swap from one device to another. Whereas these other two earbuds can only be connected to one device at a time. But with the OnePlus Buds, you can actually switch these earbuds from one device to another by pressing and holding on their touchpad. So either the Jabras or OnePlus Buds would be a good option for power users. Whereas with the Galaxy Buds Plus, even though technically, yeah, they can be connected to two devices at the same time so that you can easily hot swap from one device to another, they can only do that if you're using these earbuds with two other Samsung devices and if those Samsung devices have the SmartThings app installed. So ultimately, I do feel that both the Jabras and OnePlus Buds are better for power users because they can be connected to any two devices that you want and there's no prerequisite as to what device they work with and you also don't need to use an extra third-party app. But now let's talk about listening to music. Even though the OnePlus sound good enough to get the job done, they don't compare it to these other two earbuds. The OnePlus are a pair of earbuds where you mostly just hear bass and vocals and everything else is just jumbled up in the background. Whereas the Galaxy Buds Plus have the best clarity here and these earbuds are a good option for people who like a neutral or vocals focused EQ setting. Whereas the Jabras also have decent clarity to them, but what really make them different from the Galaxy Buds Plus is their bass. If you like a lot of bass to your music, then these are the way to go. But something these two earbuds do have over the OnePlus Buds right now is that they have apps. And through these apps, you can adjust how either of these earbuds sound. Now, personally, I am hoping that OnePlus will eventually put out an app for their earbuds so that you can adjust their EQ settings and change what their touchpads do if you decide to use these earbuds without a OnePlus device. Because I'm just saying these earbuds would be great for somebody who has a Pixel 3a or for someone who decides to pick up the Pixel 4a, which is going to get announced next week. But this now leads us to the media controls on these earbuds. If you're not using the OnePlus Buds with a OnePlus device like I am, then all you can do is double tap to skip a track. These touchpads work fine, but the media controls on these earbuds are fairly limited if you're not using these earbuds with a OnePlus device. Whereas with the Galaxy Buds Plus, first off, you can customize what these touchpads do no matter what device you're using. And these touchpads are okay as well. You can play, pause, skip a track, go back a track, and even adjust your volume all from the earbuds themselves. The only thing that I do want to point out is that these touchpads can sometimes be a little finicky. Whereas the Jabras are using physical buttons, so these are a good options if you don't want to have to deal with touchpads. And like I've said in the past, I just wish more earbuds would use haptic touchpads like AirPods do. But nonetheless, just like the Galaxy Buds Plus, you can play, pause, skip through your music, and adjust the volume all from the earbuds themselves. But finally, this leads us to the major differentiating factor between these two in-ear earbuds and the OnePlus Buds. And that's the Galaxy Buds Plus and Jabra Elite 75Ts have ambient modes, whereas the OnePlus Buds don't. Now, I know some people will might argue that you don't even need an ambient mode on the OnePlus Buds because they let in a lot of ambient noise to begin with. 
but I would actually argue that you do because having a decent ambient mode just makes it easier to hear your surroundings when either you're listening to music or watching videos with these earbuds. Now, when it comes to choosing between the ambient modes on the, the Galaxy Buds Plus and Jabra Elite 75Ts, I do have to say that the Galaxy Buds Plus have the slightly better ambient mode here because first of all, these earbuds don't develop any type of hissing in the background like the Jabra's do when you raise their ambient mode past 50%. And the Galaxy Buds Plus also do a slightly better job of blocking out wind noise when you're walking outdoors. But finally, here's the microphone test. Now, I do have this AC unit turned on because I want to show off what kind of a job these earbuds do, isolating just your voice. And unfortunately, with the Jabra's, you can clearly hear that AC unit in the background. Whereas with the Galaxy Buds Plus, they do an okay job of blocking out that AC unit, but you can definitely still hear a little something something in the background. But then there are the OnePlus Buds that do a phenomenal job of blocking out that AC unit. Because if we were to switch over to my lapel microphone, you're going to clearly hear that AC unit. But if we switch back over to the OnePlus Buds, it's basically gone. And on top of that, my voice sounds really good as well. So with all that being said, the OnePlus Buds definitely give the Galaxy Buds Plus and Jabra Elite 75 Ts a real run for their money. Especially since the OnePlus Buds are half the price. Even though the OnePlus Buds case is a little larger than these other two earbuds, it's still an acceptable size and I also feel it's the most premium feeling one here because of its slate finish and very snappy lid. But I do feel the OnePlus Buds makes up for its slightly larger case by having a combined battery life of 30 hours, which is very impressive. And when it comes to Bluetooth connectivity, I feel the OnePlus Buds have the best of both worlds here. If you just want to use one earbud at a time, you can use either one just like with the Galaxy Buds. And you can switch from one device to another, similar to how you can with the Jabra's. And when it comes to the microphone for phone calls, the OnePlus are the clear winners here. The only things that are really holding these earbuds back here from these other two earbuds is their lack of an ambient mode and their lack of an app for non-OnePlus users. So ultimately, I still feel you're better off springing for the Galaxy Buds Plus because they sound better, they have better media controls, and they have an ambient mode. But regardless, for 80 bucks, the OnePlus Buds are really good and they do over deliver. So if you're still looking for a pair of sub $100 earbuds, I don't think you can go wrong with these. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video. So hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. If you want to pick any of the products up mentioned in this video, those will be linked in the description down below. And you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store. But other than that, I'll catch you next time.